But I am well. Is it? I typically go what's up gamers for all those who actually care, which no one really probably. <clears throat> bet no, bet no one really cares. Okay, so we can get out of the way. But what's up, gamers? Hey, this is a little bit more serious, but not too much serious, but still a little bit serious topic. Uh, am I looking good? Yeah, I am. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, cool. I don't know if this issue has been talked about before in this specific light light before. However, however, I'm going to set the title of this video right now. I found a way in my big brain to solve the possible, the very much super large coronavirus problem as long as everyone gets tested and uh knows what to do to you know how the quarantine processes works and all that stuff there is like a few i don't know how many states there are but there's like three or four i had to look at the map actually but there's a cluster of states that don't even have the virus yet Okay, and this is how to solve the problem when it comes to sports, which you can see over there, you know, Arizona State and the Arizona, the Cardinals are, you know, well, not really the sport team, you know, well, the Arizona, you know, the Cardinals are a sport team, and then you got ASU, of course, rocking a basketball club up in the, their basketball club is representing in the March Madness tournament. However, it's not going to go on, but I can... I have found out a way, again, my big brain, to have it go on, and basically, I'm gonna lay it down so this video is short, sweet, and easy. You go to the, you go to the areas, I'm sure that, I'm sure every, I'm sure every single state has some sort of large gathering place, or a stadium, or something, right? And if anything, you can hold, like, more than half of the tournament here in Arizona, because there's only four people in, not for there's only nine people infected with the virus okay and if you set up a system to where the only people that can buy tickets to go to the game are people that are absolutely not sick like you have to like say that you're not sick and you have to like go do a check if you are sick right like a wellness check or something like we can't be allowing anyone who's like like if you have a cold or you know, maybe you were had a cold yet, but like, like nobody that was sick or recently sick should go to the game. Anyone, so everyone that's at the game is perfectly wealthy, healthy, and all the people that have the virus can be quarantined and in an uh, area where they can watch it. And and we'll get. Um, I think the maximum return out of this, and yeah. So like, I'm gonna run this by everything one more time. I don't know if this solution has been thought of already, because they're canceling it. They're not like they're putting it on hold, right? So they're not really, you know, they're thinking about another a way to do it. Okay, is to put all the locations in areas where there is little to no infected with the virus and enforce that people that are coming to the stadium if they're sick or have like doctors and like different like little health offices kiosks at the stadium and if they're coming in sick they can't come in Bro, bro, it's foolproof because you're already in a location where there's where there's not a lot of you know people with the virus or in some areas in the United States there's no people infected with the virus. 
you already go to one of those locations, and then you take as much space as you can, you dedicate it to the tournament for whatever stadium. So, like, if there's, so check this out, you go to Arizona, right? Well, I mean, obviously you could go to the, uh, flipping Sun Stadium, you can hold a tournament game, uh, duh. Uh, you guys, uh, but you could also hold a tournament game in the ballpark. You can hold a tournament game. You can hold two tournament games if you split the flipping field in half in University of Phoenix Stadium. And you can hold a tournament game in the hockey arena. So that's, that's two, three, four, five games that you can hold in one state. And we only have nine people infected with the coronavirus. Quarantine all those people throughout the whole time that the tournament's going on, which is the normal flipping two weeks anyway, right? Make sure nobody gets in those games if they're sick, okay? Even if they even if they had purchased a ticket and they weren't sick and then they got sick, they can't come into the flipping game. Bro. And you can still hold the game, and people don't have have to have suicidal thoughts or reactions. So I know for sure. I know this is not something to like talk about in like this way, but look, the other scenario in my mind as I orchestrated earlier in a video, I said, I said, I don't know, like people even care, but I said. That people are probably gonna have there's gonna be a higher percent of people that have suicidal thoughts or actions to this missing sports and other crap going on in the world that they don't want to hear or see instead of the percentage and the percentage of the people that are gonna die to the coronavirus it's gonna be a lot lower than that okay Because there's those out there, and frankly, I probably, at one point, used to be one of those where, like, if all sports was gone, and that was it, <laughs> and it didn't come back after two weeks, that would be it for me, bro. That would be it for me. So forget the virus, man. Someone's got to put some sort of sports out there. Like, I'm going to go to the gym and I'm going to go play basketball. I'm going to go, hopefully there will still be people there. I'm going to go ball out at the gym. All right, that coronavirus ain't stopping me from balling out at the gym, even if there are, like, 80 people that show up at the gym. <laughs> right? Like, so, we're all ballers. But all I'm saying, also, this kind of benefits me the way this would be. Is like if all if a lot of the tournament moved to Arizona where there's only nine people infected, or to other places like I guess I think Iowa or some Middle Eastern some Midwestern states that don't have any infected, or really hardly any people living there, <laughs> then that you know case in point just like bring the tournament to places that aren't really infected and test heavily for people test heavily for people coming in that they're not sick and test heavily for people coming out as well make sure they're not sick and then, then we don't have problems and we can keep the tournament going on and we can give all of us we can you know put a lot of we can put well, I should say that we can put the money back into people's pockets. The people that have lost jobs due to this thing, we can get them, you know, we can give them their jobs back when they probably are, have been unemployed for at least a week or so because there's no, like, basketball going on. So that means, you know, there's no one... Like all the security and like the people that had to keep up with these facilities, right? So 
and like even like some of the, like, I don't know like the assistant coaches or something like that right and also like some of these guys like come on <laughs> you're messing with people's futures over here if you don't if you don't find a way to start this thing because some of these guys may, may be able to go to the NBA and they may not have any chance if there's no tournament playing so I mean just saying and also like I said the rate of suicidal thoughts or actions could take a turn for the worst if sports isn't <laughs> if sports isn't something that people can ease their mind off of right if they can because that's like something that takes away a lot of stress in a lot of people's lives and if we don't have that right us kids particularly right that's it that's it selling them that's it and it might be a higher percentage that it might be a higher percentage of them out there than people that are going to die to the virus so we got to think about these things